Hey family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Diversity Solutions. And uh, in this video right here, I'm having my laptop, uh, this Lenovo T470 laptop, and it's failing to go past this level, this uh, logo level. Uh, when I turn it on, when I switch it on, it doesn't exceed this uh, login level. It doesn't uh, go past that. Even when I try to switch off, for example, if I switch off and then uh, turn it back on, uh, if I press the power button and turn it back on, uh, this power button, it goes on but doesn't exceed this level right here. It stays or stops at the logo. It doesn't go past this level. Join with me and let's see how we can troubleshoot this problem, me and you, right now, together. In this video, Opportunity Solutions to Excellency, let's see how we can solve this from scratch. So like you can see, I've been waiting for a long time for it to go past this level, but it's not going anywhere. It's just still stuck here. It's not moving any inch. It's just there, stuck. So my first troubleshooting uh, uh, method that I'm going to do is I think I should re re just reset the entire computer. And uh, I'm going to do this by number one, first uh, disconnecting everything, disconnecting all the batteries, then disconnecting uh, the uh, power battery, the CMOS battery, the ram the hard drive i'm going to disconnect each and everything off the motherboard so that i first reboot when it doesn't have that so that it can lose some memory and then i try to put it back together so let's do this me and you together right now so i'm going to be using this uh phillips screwdriver to help me out open up the i have access to the cmos battery and then the ram chip and then the hard drive and the motherboard itself so I'll be using the Phillips screwdriver to help me unscrew all the screws that are attached to T470. In case you want to see how you can dismantle the T470 laptop, I'm going to leave the link below so that you can have access to that video and then check it out. So let's proceed by unscrewing. But before we do that, we need to first shut down the laptop completely. Disconnect the power cord, which is the charger, the power charger. Forcefully turn off by pressing the power button and then I'll close the laptop. Then at the back of the laptop is where I first remove the battery. Uh, remember this T470 has two double batteries. It has the inner battery and then the outer battery, or rather the external battery. So I have to first remove this external battery, moving this and then slide it open just like this. So once I open the once I remove the battery, I, have, I then have to unscrew these screws that we have right here. So unscrew all these uh, screws that are on this laptop. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six screws that we need to unscrew. So I'll go ahead and unscrew this using my Phillips screwdriver. I'll unscrew the first one and then the second one. The third one here, the fourth one, the fifth one here, and then the sixth one. So once I'm done unscrewing, after unscrewing all this, then we have to remove the cover using our presso tool here. So I'm going to use this presso tool to open it up and then remove the cover just like that. So I'm removing the cover, we're going to disconnect the internal battery, which is this one. So we start off by disconnecting the internal battery so that there is no power running on the motherboard. It's always best practice to disconnect the internal battery or the entire battery so that the motherboard has no power running through it. Now that we've disconnected the battery, 
we then go ahead and disconnect the CMOS battery, which is here. This is the CMOS battery, and uh, let's disconnect it off the motherboard. I'll get it off. Then I'll remove the RAM also, the RAM chip as well. I get off the RAM. Put it aside as well. Then next I have to go and, and uh, disconnect the hard drive, which is this one. So I also get it off and disconnect it from the motherboard. Uh, all, this, all this is done to just reset and also make, make close memory the, uh, the motherboard. So this hard drive, I get it from here. There's a handle here that we need to access. This is the handle. So we we'll just pull off the handle, just like this. And then disconnect the hard drive. Now, after disconnecting the hard drive, we then cover, put back the cover. Now, remember, we've disconnected each and everything. And now we need to power it on, power the laptop on without anything for like three, four seconds. So once that is done, we then get the power cord or rather the power adapter or rather charger and then connect, connect the charger into the laptop. So I've connected it and it will give me that beeping sound. Once I get that beeping sound, that is to alert me that there is no RAM in the laptop and uh, there are some system uh, peripherals that are missing. So I'll press the power button to try to power it on. Again. I'll get that beeping sound to show that there is no RAM, there is no CMOS battery, there is no hard drive, and there is no battery connected. The error code will represent the memory, memory module error, and uh, the only uh, way you can uh, rectify that is by reinstalling or replacing the memory module or replacing the system board. So let's go and reconnect the RAM stick and the CMOS battery and then the power battery as well as the hard drive onto the motherboard to see how we can reset this laptop. Let's dig in right away. So I'll remove the power cord, then turn the computer the other way around at the back. Again, remove the cover to do it gently. Do it gently. So I'll start off by connect, connecting back the CMOS battery, which is this one here. Then right, I'll, I'll go right ahead and connect the hard drive into its connection port. Then I connect the RAM stick into the RAM slot. And then I connect the power battery into the connection port. Once that is done, I get back my cover, my laptop cover, and then put it back. Put it back into the laptop. And tighten the screws. Then 
and tighten the screw here. Then I will connect back the external battery. Once that is done, I will try to switch it on and see how it behaves. So I'll press the power button. And there we go. So on turning it on, it will give me this notification error messages to check on the uh, error, error code 0271 to check on the date and time settings. Then also memory error code number 0251 to check on the system CMOS check some bad default configurations used. So it will, I will press escape and I will do the setup later. I will do the resetting of the time date and the checksum CMOS system. So I will press escape to choose that option and see if it can boot the operating system to go past that uh, booting level. So remember last time it was stopping at that and uh, it's telling me to check the date and time settings and I'll press escape and then it will give me the Windows logo to pass past what it was refusing or to pass past what it wasn't going through. Remember at first it was just stopping at the Lenovo logo so now it's going past the Windows level. Let's first wait and see if it can finish up the booting. There you go, there you go. And uh, Apollo TV City login screen comes right there as required. So I'll go ahead and punch in my password and it will be successfully restored. And that's it for this video. Kindly, if you've learned something, click the like button. And if you have, you haven't sub, and if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly support us by hitting that subscription button. And uh, we shall be glad. So see you next time in the Apollo Diversity Solutions to Excellency. Cheers. Peace me out right now.